Hey everyone! Welcome back to the channel. Today we're heading to Addis Ababa, Ethiopia's bustling capital, to explore how temperature and vegetation are connected using Google Earth Engine. We'll use MODI satellite data to map land surface temperature, LST, and vegetation health with NDVI, then see if they correlate. If you're into remote sensing, GIS, or urban climate studies, this one's for you. Like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to join the journey. Let's dive in. Here we are in Google Earth Engine, or GE, my favorite tool for satellite data magic. Our mission, analyze June 2024 data for Addis Ababa to see if hotter areas have less greenery. We'll use Modi's LST for temperature, Modi's NDVI for vegetation, map them out, and plot their relationship. Assume Addis Ababa is already defined as our area of interest, a polygon around the city. Ready to code? Let's break it down step by step. First, we load the Modi's LST dataset, Mod 11A2, version 061. This gives us daytime land surface temperature every eight days. We filter it for June 2024 and Addis Ababa with filter date and filter bounds. Then select the LST underscore day underscore 1 km band. We take the mean to get a single image for the month and multiply by 0.02. That's the scale factor to convert it to Kelvin, like 300K for a typical warm day. This is our temperature map foundation. Nice and simple. Next up, Modi's NDVI from Mod 13A2. This measures vegetation greenness every 16 days. Same deal filter for June 2024 and Addis Ababa. Select the NDVI band and average it out with mean. We multiply by 0.0001 to scale it from integers to a 0 to 1 range. 0 is bare land. 1 is lush forest. Now we've got vegetation health ready to compare with temperature. Time to see it on the map. For LST, we set a palette from blue cooler to red hot, ranging from 250K to 320K. For NDVI, it's brown sparse to green healthy between 0 and 1. We center the map on Addis Ababa at zoom level 5, then add both layers with map.add layer clipped to our city boundary. Hit run, and voila, temperature and vegetation maps side by side. Red hot zones versus green patches. Already looks interesting. Now let's dig deeper with correlation. We combine LST and NDVI into one image using AdBands, then sample 500 points across Addis Ababa at a one kilometer scale Modi's resolution. We turn these into a table with LST and NDVI values for each point. Then we plot it with UI. Chart LST on the x-axis in Kelvin, NDVI on the y-axis, and a red trend line to show the trend. Run this, and you'll get a scatter plot revealing their relationship. So what do we see? On the map, red LST areas might be urban hotspots, think concrete and asphalt, while green NDVI spots could be parks or rural edges. In the scatter plot, if points slope downward with the trend line, higher LST means lower NDVI, hotter areas, less vegetation. A flat or scattered plot. Maybe irrigation or urban greenery breaks the pattern. This is huge for real life. City planners can spot urban heat islands, farmers can assess heat stress on crops, and researchers can study climate impacts in growing cities like Addis Ababa. You could even adapt this for other cities or seasons.
And that's it. We've mapped temperature and vegetation in Addis Ababa, plotted their correlation, and uncovered insights for urban and environmental planning. Now it's your turn. Grab the code from the description, try it in GE, and test it on your own city. Did you find a strong LSTNDVI link? Share your scatter plot or map in the comments. I'd love to see it. If you enjoyed this, hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for more GE tutorials. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.